morning. Good morning, everybody. Hi, oh, I see faces now. I see Emmy and Addie and Madison and Benito. Oh, who's that? Mackenzie and Alma. All right, I have some more friends joining. Let's see who else is coming in. And then we'll get started. We have a lot of fun things to do this beautiful Monday. So we better hurry up and get started. All right, yes, so we're going to actually start with our teacher helper. I know everybody wants to be the teacher helper, but wait, it was Ava last week, right? So let's see. Oh, Ava, can you choose somebody new? Do you think you can choose someone new who's raising their hand? Yeah. Mackenzie. Okay. Who's raising their hand high? Mackenzie. Mackenzie, girlfriend. Thank you, Ava. All right, let's try Mackenzie today. So Mackenzie, do you, are you ready to do our promise? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Participate, be respectful, on time, microphones muted, include full name and chat, eyes, uh, stay seated, eyes on the teacher. Wow, that was awesome. And do you know, I've been meaning to change that slide forever. You don't need to do your full name anymore. Matter of fact, it's probably better if you just have your first name, right? So, and then just in the Zoom window is the best. So I really should change that one of these days. All right, love bugs, let's get started. Tomorrow, we will not have a live lesson. Yeah, you heard that right. Tomorrow, teachers are... It's our monthly meeting, and so we will be absolutely unavailable for pretty much most of the morning tomorrow, so I cannot do a live lesson. What I will do is share a Nearpod with you to practice for science, but on Wednesday, we will announce our Zoom Promise Keeper, uh, someone who's amazingly detailed with their responses and someone who is working hard. And then on Thursday, our Zoom Promise Keeper will choose a game. All right, back to you, Miss McKenzie. What is today? Today is Monday, October 7th, 2022. That's right. 17th though, right? 17th? I know it's a hard yeah. word to say. 17th. Okay, good. Thank you, my love. All right. And you, of course, you can write the date code like that. 10 slash 17 slash 2022. All right. Guess what? We have somewhere to travel to. That's right. Okay. Can I say this one more time? I can't see the I ready scores or I ready participation anymore. So I don't even know who did the iReady challenge. I can only sort of kind of remember. And there were three that I could definitely remember. And those were Ben Almo and Miss Addie. So we have our Benito's trip to China. Benito is taking us on a field trip, guys. That was his prize that he selected so we're gonna go far away on the other side of the planet where it's still nighttime believe it or not that's right so <laughs> let's go to china and benito when we're done um we're gonna take a little trip right we're gonna take our field trip we're gonna learn some chinese and then we're gonna jump into our regular Nearpod. And at the end, we'll do some of that virtual reality field trip stuff. So let's go to China, guys. Without further ado, hold on. Let me um, share the on every video. Vacation, out of Home, there's someone like you. Who reunited Here it is. Oh. For lost time. Hold on. Today's country is... Can you see my video? Yep, okay. China is a country in Asia. China is far away and it takes about 11 hours to fly. There. 11 hours? People in China speak a few different languages, but the main one is called Chinese Mandarin. More people live in China than any other country in the world. Wow. China invented many of the things we use today, including paper, umbrellas, kites, and fireworks. Whoa. 
China is famous for food. <gasps> a large country with many different types of food. Who loves Chinese food? Yeah, <laughs> me too. Can you eat with chopsticks? Yeah, oh, <laughs> I'm st I still struggle with that. Food all over it. China has delicious meats, scrummy dumplings, pretty vegetables, and they eat bird's nests, which are one of the most expensive foods in the world. Every year, China celebrates an animal, but sometimes they celebrate the imaginary dragon. Dragons are very important to Chinese culture and art. China is home to many wonderful animals, including giant pandas and pink dolphins. There is a very old Almost wall done, in China. It is the longest wall in the whole world. It is called the Great Wall of China. In China, they don't say hello. Instead, they say ni hao. Don't forget to click the button, subscribe. <laughs> All right, wait, wait, let me. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. I saw a hand. Let me close this out and then come back to you. Okay, Ben, go ahead, Ben. It's your field trip. Shiny, um, nice, shiny, like this. Ni hao. I know we're going to learn some Chinese now, aren't we? All right, okay. so let's go back to our um, yum, 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 PowerPoint. And then let's see, we're going to, oh, yeah, time to learn some Chinese. <gasps> yes. Okay, so on your trip to China, we definitely need some phrases that we can say to the people of China, and they'll be able to understand us, okay? So here is a cute little list I found. Remember, there's a lot of different dialects and and languages that they speak over there it's not just one language it's but the one that they use most frequently is called mandarin right so let's see the first one we want to say was uh hello that's the second one down it says hello and it says ni hao can you guys um unmute and say ni hao two times go ni hao ni hao ni hao ni hao Good. Next one is goodbye. And you know, uh, my Chinese is okay. I don't say it perfectly, but I'm going to try it. Here it goes. It goes, Zai Jian, Zai Jian. Can you say Zai Jian to say goodbye? Go ahead, say it two times. Zai Jian, Zai Jian, Zai Zai Jian. All right. And the next one. Ooh, this one's a tricky one. If we wanted to say, which one do we want to say? You want to say thank you? Oh, that's a big one. Do you know how to say it? It's xi jie, xi jie. Xi jie, xi jie, Very good, very good. All right, and now let's see. How about we do, uh, how about yes and no? We should know that. Okay, so ready? If you want to say yes, we just say a real quick, Quick, she. Yes. She. 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 And if we she. say she. no, it's bu she. Bu she. Bu she. Bu she. 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 All right. And then of course, let's do one more. Let's try. If we wanted to say, um, which one do you want to do, Ben? Do you want to do well done, good morning, or sorry? Sorry. Sorry. Oh, no. Well, let's say you were walking through the streets of China and you, I don't know, stepped on somebody's big toe <laughs> and you needed to say sorry. Let's try it. Ready? Dubuki. 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 Very good. Awesome. All right. So, and of course, I'm going to tell you. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Zudu hao means well done. Zudu hao. Zudu hao. All right, great job. Whoops. Okay, go back. Hold on. Go back. Go back. Go back, Mrs. Cruz. Where are you going? All right. Now, <laughs> anybody hey. know the panda? For, what's Gosh. that movie, Ben? Uh, panda. What's the Ben? What's the movie, Ben? Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, Ben knows a Kung Fu Panda. So once again, at the very end of our regular Nearpod, we will take some virtual reality field trips to see a dragon parade and also a really cool place. I, I, I was 
I don't even know where it is, but it's really cool looking. It has great statues. So Zaijian, Zaijian. And let's go on to our birthday shout outs for Feruza and Isabella all month long, October. And, and Mr. Cruz too, his birthday's in three days. Yeah. What are we going to do today? Today, we will identify goods and services. Easy peasy. You have to be able to know the difference between what a good is and what a service is. And then I want you to understand how people buy and sell goods and services. How do you sell a service? How do you sell a good? How do you buy a service? How do you buy a good? I know I have it when I can compare buying and selling. Oops. And wait a minute, I, next steps, explain the benefits and costs in saving and spending. So what's good about saving and what's a cost, what's not good about saving? What is good about spending and what is not good about spending? So the benefits, it's good, and costs, not so good. All right. Your Nearpod code, let me go ahead and put that in the chat. I know that you'd like it in the chat, so let me grab that for you, maybe. Let's see if Nearpod wants to, wants to do what I want it to do today. Okay, let me pop that in the chat real fast. Okay, here is your Nearpod code, so you can join to talk a little bit more about goods and services, what they are, you know, the difference between them, and we compare and, and learn how to know the difference between a good and services, and how to buy and sell them. Okay, all right, people are joining, so let me jump over there and come with you, okay? I want to come with you and play the Nearpod. It's pretty quick, but we better go quickly. Otherwise we won't get to our final field trips in China, okay? So I have eight friends in, but we better start. You can join at any time. I put the code and the link in the, the uh, chat and the code is also at the top of my screen here. Goods and services, what's our question of the day? What is the difference between goods and services? What does it mean to buy and then sell goods and services? We need to know the difference, guys. So let me skip to the good part. A good, when you buy a good, when you have a good, it's anything that can be made or grown to be sold. There's somebody in our class who's, who's made jewelry before. Who is that? Who makes jewelry? Yeah, okay. What about a picture? Like you drew like a beautiful picture or wrote a book or made something, made an art project. Hmm. How about baking cookies? Who bakes cookies? Who bakes, oh yeah, could you sell those cookies? Those are goods. Those things are tangible. They can be held in our hands. They can be passed from one person to another. So everybody grab a cookie and reach toward the screen and hand it to somebody else. Sell it to someone on the screen. Go ahead, sell your cookies. Here's one for Addie. Here's one for Alma. Here's one for Frank. Here's some cookies, Asa. Here's some cookies, Ava and Isaac and Ben and Emmy and Madison. I just gave you some cookies. Yes, those are things that we can pass to one another. What about a toy? Look around your house. What toy would you sell to your best buddy? Yeah, hold it up to the screen in five, four, other. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, I wonder what you would charge. Wait, don't tell me how much you would charge. No, it's not a million dollars. Type it in the chat. Don't yell it out. Type it in the chat. How much would you charge your friend for that toy? <laughs> And don't say a million dollars. We can't do that. All right. So a good is anything that can be made or grown to be sold. A good can be touched or held in our own hands or in someone's hands. And toys, food, and clothing are all examples of goods that we can buy and sell. Now, wait, there's more. Well, what about a service, Mrs. Cruz? A service is any work that is done for someone else. 
You mean like having my yard done, my lawn mowed, my grass cut? Yeah. How about who just had haircuts? I know two guys who just had haircuts. Oh, Frank did too. You went to a place that provided you that service, right? You had to pay them for them to cut your hair. Very nice. Dog walking is also a service. So once it's done, it's not like you can carry that hair home. You can't keep that dog walk forever. <laughs> it's a service. It's done. It's completed. Somebody does it for you. All right. Or you do it for someone. Now let's watch a very, very quick two minute video about goods and services that we need and some of the things that we want. Most things cost money. Money! Many people earn money by working. Mm -hmm. Some people sell goods and others perform services to earn money. What are goods? Goods are things people make or grow to sell, like toys, computers, food. Can you think of any other goods that people buy and sell? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Look carefully. If you can sell it to someone else, choose it. Air, food, sunlight. What is a good that you can cr create, make, and then sell to other people? Air, food, or sunlight? <laughs> That's funny. Yes, if you said food, you got 100%. Good work, guys. That's right. What are services? services? Services are jobs people do for others. Mm -hmm. Like a doctor provides a service of keeping people healthy, a pilot flies a plane, and a chef cooks food. What's the service that I am providing you today? Frank, what am I doing? Make us do work. Yeah, what do you call me? What do I do for a living? You teach us. Ah, uh, that's right. Teaching is a service. Excellent job. Thank you. Can you think of any other services? Now let's see if you can tell the difference between goods and services. Books. Hmm, are books goods or services? Answer, answer, Asa. Goods. Very nice, you can grab it in your hand, you can buy it, sell it, pass it to a friend, it's a good, very nice. All right, let's keep going. That's right, books are goods nice because work. they're things that are made and sold. But a librarian provides a service. Librarians might help you find the book that you're looking for. That's right. You can't take the librarian home with you, just like you can't take Mrs. Cruz home with you. Okay. <laughs> can't do it. Four. How about a construction worker? Okay. Answer, please. Ava. No. Goods or service? It's service. Yes! Let's see. Do if construction she's right. workers provide goods? I think she is. Go ahead, guys. Would you think that a construction worker is providing a good or a service or none of the above? Yeah, let's see if she's right. I think they all agree with you. Look at that. Nice. Okay, let's see. Oops. Or services. Yep. They provide service. services. Good they mark. might build houses or work on roads. But okay. the tool let's keep going. Let's keep going. We already know their tools are goods. Yep, we got that. Let's move on to uh oh, or fill in the blank. Oh my goodness. Okay. A good is anything that is blank or grown to be sold. Remember what they said earlier. A good is anything that is blank or grown. Hmm. The next sentence says, a good can be touched or held in our hands. Blank 
food and clothing are all examples of good. Blanks, food and clothing are all goods. Then at the bottom, it says a service is any blank that is done for someone else. Oh, like that construction worker, like that um, the hairstylist. Mm -hmm. People provide blanks for others. When you do something for someone else, you're providing them a what? A hairdresser provides haircut, a haircut is a service, a dog walker provides walks for dogs, and blanking a dog is a service. Oh my goodness. So if you're looking at my screen, of course you can see the answers. So you can check to see if you're right. Okay, 10 seconds left. Okay, 10 seconds is up. Wow, nice job, guys. Look at those answers come pouring in. What all that is is vocabulary words. Yeah, using them in sentences so you can completely understand the context and what they mean. So you just practiced vocabulary words, good for you. And once again, the answers are, a good is anything that is made or grown to be sold. A good can be touched or held in our hands. Toys. Food and clothing are all goods. A service is any work that is done for someone else. People provide services for others. A hairdresser provides haircuts. A haircut is a service. A dog walker provides walks for dogs. So walking is a dog. Walking a dog is a service. All right, all right. Good, good, good. Now, of course, you know you can practice that later. On the next slide, you'll watch a video. Pay attention to the difference between goods and services. You will then complete an activity identifying goods and services. All right. Oh, I like this video. We're shopping or we're having things done. For us. Did you know the candy bar and can of root beer you bought at the grocery store are called goods? Or that when you are paid to mow the neighbor's lawn and rake his leaves, those are called services? Goods and services are all around us. Items that you pay money for, like that candy bar, or the new pants your mom bought are goods. They're Items you pay money for are what? Items that you pay money for and can bring home with you. Are they goods, services, or no answer? Look at those answers. They're flooding in and you say they're goods. Items you pay money for are goods. They are products what? available for There's purchase. Some goods. Produce, There's groceries, some goods. clothing, cars, toys. These are all goods. The goods we buy are made all over the world. They are shipped to us and offered for sale in our stores. Services are when you pay someone to do something for you. A taxi cab, for instance, performs a service for you when you pay them to take you where you want to go. That's right, you can't take that taxi cab home with you. So it's a service when someone drives you somewhere, it's a service. Blank are when you pay someone to do something for you. I have to pay somebody actually to clean my gutters because I think there are birds building nests in my gutters, which clogs the gutters. And then there's like all the rain has nowhere to go. So I can't do it. So I have to pay someone to do that service for me. If you said service, you got it right. Nice job. Builders, waiters, construction workers, even hairdressers oh, offer to sell you their services. When we buy something, we pay a little extra money for it. That is called sales tax. Your parents pay taxes off the money they earn. The government uses these taxes to provide us with public services, such as public schools, libraries, roads, firefighters, and policemen. When you get paid by your parents for cleaning out the garage for a yard sale, you are performing a service. I was just thinking that. Can everybody type in the chat um, a chore or a little job you can do for your parents? That would be a service for them. But something that, oh, I saw Addie was doing something after the hurricane. She was providing a service. Do you remember that, Addie? 
with the rake. Yeah, you remember? Uh-huh, yeah, exactly. You were raking the leaves and debris. That was a service, bagging that up, getting it all bagged up and to ready to throw out. Think of a service, a chore, um, a job that you can do at home to help your parents, your family. If you say changing diapers, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> How about washing the dishes? Is that a service? Yeah. Ooh, these answers are coming in. Clean up, sweep, rake leaves. Yes, cleaning, selling your toys. Excellent. Anybody else? Yeah, what about cleaning out the car or washing the car? Is that a helpful service? Oh, Frank? Oh, good, Ava. I washed the car with my dad. Yeah, that's a service, right? Washing the car is a service. You can't take that car and in, into your room. <laughs> you can't keep the bubbles and the water and the dirt. That's just a service. It's once and done. And you are helping someone clean the dishes. Who said selling your sister? Come on, you can't sell your sister. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on. Everybody out of the chat in five, four, hands up, hands up, three, two, one, you're out of the chat and here we go. Identify each picture as a good or a service. You'll notice that there is a picture and then there are two words underneath. I want you to consider what the object or item or service is and then circle good or service underneath each picture. So when I walk it through, picture of cupcake, the actual cupcake, you get to take it and eat it. Uh, let's do buying a car, I guess. That's a car, take it home with you. How about going to the restaurant and they serve you food? Okay, it's not just the food, they're serving you food. How about the toys? How about the car wash? The middle one in the middle of the grid is a car wash. And then how about a phone, an actual phone that you call people on? And then, ooh, changing your tires. Is that a service? Somebody does something for you. And how about a new pair of fancy shoes? And how about like raking leaves? This is shoveling snow. Ooh, I used to do that a lot when I was a kid. All right, let me see your answers in five, four. Ooh, good. Yes, the phone is a good and the car wash is a service. I see service for changing the tires. I, there's nothing there about selling your sister. Mm -mm -mm. But a service is when someone brings you food. <laughs> That's good. The wait, waiter or wait, wait staff is bringing you food. Good job. Oh, there's the toys. It's a good. All right, guys. Great work. Great work. Let's move. Move it. Buying and selling goods and services. Okay. When we need something, like a new pair of shoes, we go to the store and we use money to go buy them. When we get something from a store with money, we buy the goods. Raise your hand if you've ever been to the mall and had to carry the bags. Yeah, <laughs> you had to carry. Raise your hand if you went to the grocery store and you had to carry all the groceries or wheel the cart. That's right, you had all those goods and goods that you were buying there and you were carrying them home. When we need a haircut, we go to the hairdresser and that is a service, we buy the service, we give them money to perform the service. So let's see what else. Um, when you sell something, okay, we bought, we're finished buying, now we're gonna sell it and make some money. You guys ready for that? A person who makes or grows items and in the chat, I want you to think of something that you can make or grow to sell. Okay. What could you make or grow to sell? People with a good or a service to sell take money for the good or service. That's right. It's not free. You're not just giving it away. You want money for it. You worked hard for it. Whether it's a good or a service, it's something that you expect 
to be compensated for. And so you trade that good or service for some money and that's called selling. Anybody typing in the chat? Ooh, let's see, nobody's typing in there. Something that you could make or grow. Oh, here they come, here come the answers. Cookies, quit selling your siblings. There's some apples. Ooh, somebody's growing apples, I like that. You gonna make me some apple pie? <laughs> no, okay. All right, ooh, flowers, that's a good one. Ooh, I like that. Nice, Isaac. Uh, okay, ooh, cookies, mm, more cookies. You're like the cookie monster. <laughs> oh, very nice. A karate, that's a service. Ava, give me your karate stance. Come on. Hi. What does it say? Carrots. <gasps> carrots. I like carrots and I like karate. Can you combine both of them? Can you do a carrot karate chop? <laughs> I could do both. Oh, books. All right, guys, let's move on. Now, <clears throat> circle the correct answer for this one. Um, when you open this up, you'll see pictures and underneath the first one, it says, who is buying a good? So you're going to circle the person who's buying a good. Now go to the second picture. It says, who is buying a service? Circle the person who's buying a service. Buying it, spending money and having them do it for her. Him, her. Okay, and the third one, is she buying or selling a good? She's at the grocery store. Is she buying or selling? And then at the bottom, the last three says, is he buying or selling a service? Is he buying, is he paying somebody to do it for him or is he selling a service? Buying or selling. Middle one at the bottom, who is providing a service? Circle the person who is providing a service. And then the last one, who is selling a good? Which one of those people in front of the car is actually selling the car? That good, it is good. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at that last answer. He's handing the keys to her and he's selling it to her. She's gonna give him money. So I would circle the man who is selling the young lady the car. All right, that's what I would circle for the very last picture. It looks like the man is the one doing the selling, right? Yeah. I might change that last answer. Right, Alma? The picture of the man in front of the car, he's the one doing the selling. Yeah. I know that because whenever I buy a car, they hand me the keys after I give them the money. <laughs> then they're like, okay, you can have it now. You paid. All right, guys, good work, good work. Now, nope. Gonna, gonna skip that part. We're going to move on to, because we're pretty much wrapping up. Nope, we already did that one. We shared that in the chat. All these extra um, activities you can do, don't worry, I like to save the best for last. It's a time to climb. You can participate if you don't want to. Let's go to the carnival. Choose your player. We are going to review and evaluate your knowledge on the difference between goods and services and comparing whether or not you're buying or selling those goods or services. Okay, Ooh, look at everybody joining. Oh my goodness, look at Ben. Look at Isaac, <laughs> what's a cookie monster? All right, guys, ready? Start the game. You can join at any time. Let's do the first one. If you don't do well, don't worry about it. Which is an example of a good? Mowing a lawn, cutting hair, cookies, washing windows. Which one is something that you can make and sell? Give to somebody that can take it from you. Mowing a lawn, cutting hair, cookies, or washing windows. I said every we fed each other these earlier, remember? If you said cookies, you got it right. Five questions. And we're going to take our field trip. Which is an example of a service? 
Remember when you do something for someone else or pay someone to do it for you? Is it a candy bar? Take a nap? Shoes or fix a car? It's not take a nap, Emmy, is it? No. I can't pay you to take a nap for me. <laughs> That'd be funny if I could. Oh, if you said fixing a car, you got it right, guys. Nice job. That's nervous. I don't know how to fix cars. You have to pay somebody to do it. Okay, we're waiting for one more person to pick an answer. Click! If you pick D, you got it right. But we're stuck here. Come on, guys. Pick the next one. fabulous crazy lesson how confident do you feel in your ability to explain buying and selling of goods and services quick give me an answer as fast as you can a i've got this um i know all about goods and services now i understand i can tell the difference so that's, uh no that was c that was c a i have questions b i just need a little practice Couple more answers coming in. Very nice. This gives me an idea of what I need to focus on for upcoming future lessons. So this helps me under helps me understand what you know, how confident you feel about this lesson. Fabulous. Okay. Thank you for learning with me. And now you may go if you have run out of time and you need to leave or you can stay and we're going to take two virtual field trips that are going to last one minute each so get ready it's going to be a fast field trip here we go to wrap up benito's final prize let's enter the let's enter the world of china boy it was a long plane ride 11 hours in an airplane Look at that. If you scroll all the way around, this is uh, a museum in China, and this shows their deities, their people that they worship, and it shows some fabulous dragon statues. It shows some language, some, some words written in Chinese. Whoa, isn't that the coolest place? I wonder if they charge money to have people come in there. Has anybody ever been to China? Me either. No, me either. I have not. Oh, look at the ceiling. That is so cool. All right, let me zoom in. I want to see what this is. Oh, there's more statues. 
There are places like this throughout China. China is a really large country. I do know that they have a lot of farms there too. This doesn't look like it's part of a farm though. Oh, look at that. I wish I could read that writing. All right, I, I, I think, I thought this was in Hong Kong, which is the capital, right? Capital of China, Hong Kong. Okay, now, you guys ready for the next one? Last one, that was one minute, one minute field trip. Let's go to the parade. <laughs> this is their parade of dragons. Look how long the dragon is, guys. Isn't that huge? And so the people will grab a stick under the dragon and then they'll walk it down the street and they make it move like it's really walking. It's so cool. So they're having, it might be their Chinese New Year parade. It's, I can't read that. Can't read it, it's not sure. And this looks like it might be in a city in China. Look at those tall buildings. All right, wow. Look how long that dragon costume is. Or, or it's not a costume, what is that called? Kind of like a costume. Go ahead, Alma. No? Okay. All right. So we took our two quick field trips so we could ex experience a little bit more of China. Hello. Hello, Miss Da. And uh, we learned a little bit of Chinese phrases uh, so we could communicate better if we ever find ourselves traveling to China. And we learned some facts too. So thank you, Mr. Ben. I loved traveling to China with you.